Wondering how to airplay from your iPhone to your TV? In this tutorial video, I'll explain how to do it with streaming players such as the Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire Stick, as well as some smart TVs. Stay tuned. So first, let's get some basics out of the way. You probably already know this, but AirPlay is a feature on Apple devices like the iPhone that lets you wirelessly share videos, photos, and music from one device to the other. It also lets you mirror what's on your iPhone's screen. To use AirPlay on your iPhone, you'll need a device that is capable of running iOS 11.4 or later. If you're unsure of what version your device is using, go to Settings, then General, than about on your iPhone, and it will show you right there. Now, the most important thing to remember is that your iPhone and the device that you want to share your music or your videos with have to both be on the same Wi-Fi network. So if you go over to a friend's house and you want to share a video on their TV, make sure that your iPhone is hooked up to your friend's Wi-Fi first. But first, I'll talk about using AirPlay with the Apple TV, since they're both made by Apple and they're the most compatible together. So as for AirPlay with the Apple TV, as long as you have the fourth generation device, also known as the Apple TV HD or newer, you should be good to go. We'll start out and go through if you've got an app open like YouTube and you want to AirPlay to your TV. First, you want to click on the symbol that looks like that. It's going to pull up a list of your devices, select AirPlay and Bluetooth devices, and then select your Apple TV from that list. As soon as you do that, it should automatically transfer the video from your iPhone to the Apple TV. And when you fast forward or rewind on your iPhone, it's going to control the video on the TV. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to fiddle around with your remote. You can do it directly on your phone. Now, the next thing that you can do is to completely mirror what is on your iPhone with your Apple TV. To do that, you'll want to get to the control center. Now to get there, you'll want to get your finger at the very top end of top right of the screen, scroll down until you get that, then click on the symbol that looks like this. Once you do that, just select your device and automatically it should be paired up. Again, as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi connection, uh, mirroring exactly what is on your iPhone screen on the Apple TV. So this is nice, you can go through different apps. Everything you do on the iPhone is going to be mirrored on the Apple TV. And when you are ready, just go back to the command center, click on that symbol again, and select your device to disconnect. Now the next thing I'll talk about is with a Roku. Now here on the screen, I have the full list of devices that are compatible with AirPlay. I would say these are the devices from uh, probably 2013 and later. If you've purchased a device within the past few years, you should be fine. But I'll go ahead and put this list up here on the screen. If you want to pause it and take note of that, you can. Now, if you have a Roku device on your TV, it has a pretty similar process. The only thing you're going to want to be sure of is to go into the settings, go to where it says AirPlay and HomeKit and then make sure that AirPlay is turned on. Once you do that, uh, you'll go through the same process. Uh, so I've got a video here loaded up for my YouTube channel. You wanna click on that symbol up in the upper right hand corner, select your device. Uh, this time you wanna select the Roku device, of course. Uh, then it's actually going to load up the YouTube app on your Roku. And once that is loaded, it will automatically play the video that you were watching on your iPhone on your TV. And it plays the audio, it plays the video, everything all together. And of course, you can also control the, you know, fast forwarding, rewinding, everything directly from your iPhone. Now to mirror the device, uh, you would go through that same process that we talked about with the Apple TV. You want to select your device from the control center. It is going to exactly mirror what is on your iPhone. I will point out uh, the picture quality is a little bit different when you mirror with the Roku. It does appear to be a little more washed out, kind of oversaturated, overexposed. Not really sure if there is a way to get around that, unfortunately. 
um, but this does at least give you the image if you wanted to show someone something that was on your phone and uh, go through it with that process. And then of course you would go back to the command center and select your device to disconnect. Now the last one we're going to talk about is going to be the Amazon Fire TV. Uh, just to kind of vary it up a little bit, I will show you what it's like to AirPlay from the Tubi app. So let's say you're watching a movie, you want to get it onto the big screen from the Tubi app. You would select that symbol up in the corner, then select your device, and it's going to open the Tubi app on your Amazon Fire TV, provided you've downloaded that, and go ahead and cast it to the Tubi app. Now, the one thing that gets a little bit complicated is if you wanna completely mirror your device on the Amazon Fire TV. Amazon does not make this easy, unfortunately, so you will have to download a specific app uh, in order to do that. There's a few different apps out there. The one I'm going to pull up is called Air Screen. Uh, there's a few others that are pretty similar. It's just kind of down to personal preference, which one you wanna use. Uh, but with this, you download it to your Fire TV. We're going to wait for that to load. You want to just click on the welcome screen here, and then it's going to ask you to scan the QR code with your phone. We're getting that scanned. Then I'm going to select entire screen, and it is going to pull up this code, and we want to select that when we go to the control center and then choose the device. Now you can see everything is mirrored out. Like the Roku, it does get kind of that, that overexposed, oversaturated look. Uh, again, it's just not quite on par with uh, how it syncs with the Apple TV, unfortunately, but it does still mirror if you want to show someone what is on your phone. Now, the final thing that I'll go through is smart TVs. There are a number of smart TVs that are compatible directly with uh, AirPlay, including models by Samsung, Vizio, Sony, LG. On Apple's website, they have a full list of those different TVs that are compatible with AirPlay. And the process would be pretty similar to what we went through. It's just that you would be connecting directly with your smart TV, as opposed to a TV that has a device like a Roku, an Apple TV, or an Amazon Fire Stick connected. So that concludes this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this YouTube channel for reviews of streaming services and other cord cutting tips. Again, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye.